All right. <clears throat> well, for the existing industry report, uh, you can see the list of industries that were visited in late January and early February. Uh, I talked with South Georgia PCAM folks, hunt industry folks, um, both on extensions. And hunt industries was the industry spotlight for January. Met with Martin's Famous Pastry. Um, if you haven't in, ever been in there, you get a chance to do so because it smells delicious in there. But they're doing well. I'm happy to be in Valdosta. Uh, ABS or American Drill Bushing, we met with them um, on some possible expansion in the future. Uh, talked with them with some uh, workforce development issues that they were, they were concerned with and we're working with Wiregrass who is here today uh, to, to help them out with those. Uh, just did a site with it was with Smith Drug and uh, outsourced logistics as well. Uh, we went over there with Megan and uh, actually did the February industry spotlight, which will be in the last Sunday edition of the Daily Times in the business section. And just did a site visit with Letica as well. Um, let me stop you real quick, Letica. I don't know if you remember, but a couple of years ago, we had to make a significant capital investment into the rail spur that comes off in Bassford Business Park. Um, and we've known that we would have to continue making improvements to that spur in order for it to be operable. Um, and we've just gotten another update that we're going to have to make some more investment into that spur. So what we're currently in the process of doing is getting a bid for that um, and then may do like another little band-aid fix. But we're also working with the Department of Community Affairs on seeing if there's any financial resources that could be identified to help us um, cover those costs because it is throughout the whole entire spur. And I don't know if you know, but that spur runs the length of Bassford Business Park. So it's a, a lot of capital investment in there that needs to be fixed. So we're working with them to hopefully do that. Jerry's got a confused look. I have rail sightings in my plants, but I'm just wondering what they're asking you to do. It's the rail ties are starting to um, de decompose or decay or starting to wear out. And so for instance, right now we have a switch issue where um, the ties that the switch sits on is too loose. And so Norfolk 7 is telling us we have to fix that now. And how old is that say? Uh, it's over 15 years old. Is it? So I just wanted to update you on that because you'll be seeing that come up. The, there, there's a local company that does that kind of work and you might want to consult with them. <coughs> Actually have to work with them and that's the end. They're, they're good that. people. Yeah, good, thank you. All right, moving on, uh, Fossil Tire, they are pretty much complete. Um, Megan mentioned our ribbon cutting is this Friday for them. Uh, so hopefully all, most of y'all should have gotten the invitation already. And it will be at 9 a.m. Uh, on this Friday. So hopefully it's not too freezing cold. But this is just some pictures I went out and took yesterday of the completed building. It's very nice. Um, it's probably the nicest garage workshop I've ever seen so, you get a, so when you do come out to the ribbon cutting we'll, we'll get to tour the facility and look at it so um, so it'll be good good to see that and there's just a few more pictures um, just from different angles and then that was a two million dollar capital investment and retained six jobs and they should uh, expand to 10 new ones uh, in the future. Uh, Bimbo Bakeries, they're complete. I went by there Friday just to check it out. Um, last board meeting we reported that they're not completely done because of their, the uh, doors there are white and they were supposed to be the same color of the building. They haven't replaced those. I'm not real sure when that's going to happen. Um, but we did discuss with them doing a ribbon cutting. They're not real keen on doing one for some reason, so we talked with them and they're finally doing a press release um, sometime in early March, so we'll do that um, in early March. Uh, but it's a very nice building as well, and it sits on a very nice lot back there in Hay High Business Park, so if you run that way, just drive through and check it out. Uh, Project Weld, 
as a new project for an existing industry that we were, that we were working on. We're working with the preliminary engineering work uh, to kind of see what we can do with, with water and sewer for them. Um, uh, we still have some work to go with that, and, and but it'll be a to see what we can do for them. But it's going to be a very good and large capital investment, a, a probably nine million dollar project, um, and it'll extend their capabilities very much. And it'll be about 50 new high-paying jobs. So. This will be something we can look forward to and be proud of. So, uh, Project Coal is a food production processing company. Uh, we were, have been working with them for a while. They have a contractor and they're already starting to do some work out there. We've been in touch with them. We've sent them the uh, indenture of lease and the economic development agreement. And we're just kind of waiting to hear back from them on approval, which we think they'll, they will approve it. Uh, but that one's going to be about a five and a half million dollar investment in 20 new jobs. And Project Greensleeve, we're continuing to work with them as well. Um, they're looking at a, a site over Miller Business Park, but we're working on, with them on some engineering stuff, and we're looking to get with them to present the economic development agreement and the adventure of lease, and, and hopefully move on from there. And then Project Ship, well, this one's very new, very preliminary, but we met with the staff uh, they're in their existing industry and they're looking at doing a possible uh, expansion probably sometime early <coughs> next year and we're working with them on site selection. Um, they're hopefully wanting to do it at their site but we may have to do it so we're just going to help them look at other options. And then the Community Business and Industry Partnership. <coughs> You can see up here where we will be attending the Georgia Logistics Summit uh, at the end of March and 1st of April. Uh, we met with the, with the companies that are going, the logistics and uh, distribution folks who are going. Uh, we bought a table for the event this year, something new we haven't done from what I understand. Uh, and that will strategically place us in a highly visible part of the, uh, of the, of the summit. Uh, so we can get maximum exposure for our existing industries. and They're all excited about it. I'm excited about it. I've never been, but I think the majority of them went last year and they had a good time. And it's really good exposure for them. So we're, uh, we're looking for a good time. And hopefully we can make some good contacts up there. So that concludes my report. Sam, I know that you've not gone to this logistics summit. Uh, I'm not sure. We've gone this in the past, point. No, this will be about our, this will be our third year doing it. Are we able to coordinate with our logistics companies here in an effort to recruit other companies? How are we working that? I'm not. So one of the purposes for us actually doing this logistics summit is to help connect them with partners to help grow their business, which helps them helps them expand. Um, hence. Outsource Logistics looking at expansion. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that we're doing with this um, exhibit table is to hopefully make those contacts, to link them up, and to work with them in bringing additional suppliers in. So we work with them when we visit them on an existing industry basis, so that repeated you know, visit that we make. We talk to them about suppliers or contacts that they're making, things that they're seeing, and if they could forward those to us and if there's any way that we can work with them. Um, and reach out to them in advance. Has this yielded any prospects in prior years? Um, we've seen growth from our existing industries that have been attending. Okay. Yes. Right. Thank you. Ms. Schreier. 